MCP or Model Context Protocol is something that was introduced by Anthropic. It's essentially a protocol to standardize how applications can provide context to AI models. And what that means is before MCP, one had to pretty much generate custom prompts and have complex setup and mention all the tools. But now with MCP, it's more of a plug and play integration. So all of the custom work is simplified. A simple analogy for MCP would be as USB-C for AI, basically standardizing across the board on how AI applications communicate with tools or prompts or resources. And these are different things available in MCP that you can configure a server to either call tools or prompts or resources. And that's exactly what we're gonna look at in this video. We're gonna focus on tools and how Langflow can use MCP to call various tools. And we'll see how the response of that is gonna be in Langflow. So I have a simple agent set up. This is an agent which has access to calculator tool but also it has access to MCP tool. And this is a component available in Langflow. So if you were to look for MCP, there are two different types. We're gonna focus on the standard IO first and we'll see how we can utilize that. So what I have here is a command and this is a server that we can easily find. So Anthropic have put out a list of servers that one could utilize. This is a basic list. There are many different directories where you can get servers from. And among this is a tool called fetch. This is going to fetch website content and make it efficient for LLM usage. So if we were to click that, we'll see that there is some documentation and it says that one has to install UV. And with that, we can pretty much run this server and the command for that is available under using. So this is exactly what we want. So I copied this over to Langflow and the UVX command. So just combining both of those, we have the command and the argument, and now we can run this. So this is gonna reach out to a website, fetch the content and make that available to us. So an example of running this flow is to provide a URL, and that's exactly what I did. So I asked for it to get info from langflow.org, and what it does is it knows what sort of tool is available and then it's going to utilize that it's going to call the website and then pull the information for us so let's try another example here so i'm going to ask a question get top products from product hunt and let's see what it does so as soon as we send that it's going to understand that it's supposed to use the fetch command it's going to utilize that to make a call so we see here the contents of product hunt so it called and based on that, it is pulling the info. And with that, it made these available to us as the top products that are on Product Hunt. And this is all done using the agent and the MCP connectivity that we have right now and nothing else. So that makes it very easy. So now one could pretty much use any of the servers available or provided by Anthropic in this repo or any of the publicly available servers. Now, one could think of using something like a GitHub server and reading through all the different issues or pull requests or anything that you'd like to do on GitHub could be from your drive. It could be reading a few different sheets or documents, or it could be something where you can connect to your uh, email as well, and then read through the emails. It could be the file system. So there are many different options available. And in addition to what's listed here, there are many directories that have MCP servers listed that you could utilize. Again, now this is a very basic implementation. One could connect with multiple of these MCP tools. And in addition to that, there's also an option that we can use Langflow as a whole as MCP server and call that from cursor or any application that you'd like to use MCP tools from. So this is a basic intro. We're gonna cover some more of MCP based usage in the next few videos.